hello students uh, in this video I am going to demonstrate how to do the red pill refinement of sodium bismuth titanate using full proof package sodium bismuth titanate is a ferroelectric material it has tremendous application in energy storage devices I am going to basically use three files uh, these are data files, CI files and IRF file data file is the XRD data you collected in your XRD diffractometer and um, CI file is crystallographic information file it's a standard model IRF file is the instrumental resolution file it is basically required to see the drawing so let me s see how this program runs so we, we here basically need three files so first is our crystallographic information file you can see that here we get lattice parameters and um, here lattice parameter space group and uh, atomic positions of sodium bismuth titanate or NBT and we are use, going to use this model to refine our crystal structure then we have our data file so data file is you can see this is initial 2 theta we have collected the data 2 theta from 10 to 80 degree so we have initial 2 theta 10 degree then step the distance between two data points and this final then this is the intensity data I would like to note that here uh, you have to take the data very carefully means very slow scan rate and uh, and then uh, you have to take the step size also very less you can go even 0.01 or 0.005 okay so let me close it so this is done then this is the lab 6 the IRF file I have collected this data from diffractometer lab 6 this is lanthanum hexaboride you can use it as a standard and this first line uh, is basically your initial 2 theta this is the second line this is the uh, Gaussian contribution of the peak this is the Lorentzian contribution of the peak so you can find the data I have already made a video <coughs> how to make a <coughs> how to make a um, instrumental resolution file so you can collect it so this is the format is resolution format 4 and you can go to this uh, redfill file redfill manual page number 132 you can see this format is available and uh, you can go on with this right so let me minimize it and this minimize it right and uh, let me open this full pro package yes then go to the edpcr yes and let me see first this data is running or not so open this is the instrum file and um, let me see this is nbt so yeah the data is fine intensity 2 theta this is good let me close it and um, i think it is here yeah so i would always recommend to convert the data from ci file to pcr because if you, you if you will use others PCR files they have their data on some hidden parameters are there so your data will not converge and fit and uh, so it is always recommend to convert the CI to PCR so I'll convert it and this is the desktop so NBT is there my sample is okay it is important lattice parameter and term information is important next is first go to general okay this is fine then go to the pattern so data shape so here you have to import your yeah the data file you collected from XRD to theta values and uh, intensity so okay this is pre format then go to the simulation you can put x-ray here then pattern okay this is TCS function is fine then uh, you can uh, go to the background this is coefficient is fine then geometry I am going to use this IRF file at the end so then let me leave it right now okay then pages you go then uh, it, you can go to the provided by the user and here you click Excel this is very important and uh, this again you go to the TCH I use TCH because it takes into account this um, crystallite size trend analysis so I basically put it there and symmetry ok R3 is there NBT is R3 so ok this is fine so ok then in refinement you can go to the 10 refinements you can go to this is and then you can go apply mode uh, this uh, profile matching mode then background is fine ok instrumental is zero everything is ok uh, profile uh, lattice parameters imported uh, and um, everything is ok atoms I think yeah 
anisotropic parameter whom this standard file is there so i'll use this isotropic so let me put it isotropic so nbt has four um, ions so based on that atomic positions are given i'll discuss more on atomic positions later so let me do it okay okay now save it right if you save it you can see that um, in the file one file will be created here this is pcr so that is our file required file and let me refine for the first time so let me do the refinement yeah so here the important thing you can see that this uh, theoretical and experimental data they are coming near so this is the bracks position this is the difference and um, Okay, let me show it clearly. So this experimental red line, experimental black line, theoretical. This is the black position, and this is the difference. So they are coming near to the same experimental and theoretical lines. They are coming to the nearly same, you know, the same position. So let me refine first time. So I'm I'll still very in layman language as well as scientific because let me see scale. Okay. So scale is there, and here zero factor is there. If we refine that. what will happen uh, that uh, the heights of the peaks will be adjusted you can see now the heights are getting changed right so it adjusted the height okay so let me refine it again it has not converged yet okay let me see um, yeah let me close it again let me save it let me run it again Yes. So you can see that heights are getting adjusted now. So this heights they are coming to the same heights, the theoretical and experimental. So that is the one important thing first you should do. Okay. Now the backgrounds are not the same height, so we are going to refine the background next. So I am going to do the background part. So refine all. I will do the raw all. So this you can see. So N B T refine background. So you can see that. background is getting adjusted and uh, here we have uh, background is fitted well right the background okay so here one thing is there the peaks are little bit changing in position so we are going to refine the lattice parameter that will basically takes care of this peak position so let me refine all this thing so all this lattice parameter so let me run it and yes so if i refine the lattice parameter peaks positions get shift and they come to the same position so let me run it again i think i need another yes the mm, they are coming to the same peak position so yeah so let me save it now So what I'm going to do, I'm going to refine the peak orientations, preferred orientations. So let me run it. I think yeah, it is getting converged. Yeah, so normal end. So chi square is coming good. So yeah. So what you can see here, here peak. positions are matching peak height is matching peak shapes are not matching so i am going to use the peak shape parameter now. so here i am going to do the peak shape here this one is the peak shape so let me refine that so peak shape is there yes now you can see that we have got a very good fit here so run yeah let me save it again so this is save So run it again. Yeah. So 8.95. So peaks are almost getting matched, right? So peak background is fine. Peak height is fine. Peak positions are fine. So let me do uh, go to the atomic positions. So I'll refine the atomic positions. So here I would like to say that I have taken RTC space group. There is a format called Mega Darlington formalism. So this much titanium oxygen is there. So 6A6. 6A6A18B. So these are Wyckoff sites. So you can go for 0.1, 0.1, 0.3 occupancies. So this site you can try. This reference you can try for better understanding of this RTC model. So let me go to. Yeah, let me refine this one. Okay, okay. So 
this is defining the peak purchase plus this peak occupant and this is defining the occupancies so define the occupancies in step wise okay so okay save then let me stop see that occupants is getting changed a little bit but they all come to 1 on 3 part so this uh, sodium 0 0.5 and this 0 0.5 and titanium 1 oxygen like this they are coming so you can see the occupants is there in the match with the positions and um, ok ok you can refine more uh, parameters to converge better and uh, I have tried many other refinements so you can see this is the refinement uh, can try for even more okay and you can go for further lower rp rw values okay and uh, now let me import this uh, cif file sorry irf file so go to the pattern go to the geometry then you select this format browse then go to the lab 6 okay and you do this okay and this is fine and uh, if you want to run it you run it so it will converge okay and you have the rprw values you can even go more okay uh, yes so now you can see that in nbt you have this mic file so here uh, this is the lattice size and strength file for you will create and um, if you refine more you will get the lattice parameter and size strengths and uh, next um, what I am going to tell that here there is a file called song file it will tell the analysis refinement phase output information all this and uh, I am going to tell next parts in the other videos but uh, lastly I will tell one thing important here that if you this is sodium bismuth titanate right so if this is sodium bismuth titanate if you want to do anything at the A side bismuth you have to put this atomic positions like uh, here you have to add um, atom positions 4 are there you can click 5 and you can refine that ok you can add like uh, suppose this much is there you have to put the gadolinium you can put the gadolinium at 0, 0, 0 0.26 ok you can do that and you can calculate also this parameters from this uh, S and T parameter setting parameters from the atom positions you refine and uh, if you have any doubt or comment you can always post me in the chat box and uh, try to subscribe and uh, thank you very much